G'day legends, welcome back to Southern Star Review. I'm Steve, and as you can probably guess, it's getting cold, uh, winter is well and truly upon us, so I thought, what better time than to check out some, uh, some uh, block splitters. So here we have the, the BE 28 tonne from AgraEase. Um, can do a 25 inch length of cut, or 63.5 centimetres, or 40.6 centimetres, something like that. Um, and the net weight is 550 pounds or 249 kilos. I've already run it a couple of times and it is an absolute beast. Can cut either horizontally the way that it is now, uh, or this frame can lift up. So, you know, if you're cutting your bigger logs and don't want to lift it up, um, you just lift this up and then you roll the bigger logs in, uh, which we'll show you shortly. All powered by a Honda GP200 engine, which is you know, obviously Honda, the name speaks for itself. And uh, yeah, we'll give you a little bit of a rundown. We've got a, um, a selection of some really good Australian hardwoods. We've got some um, iron bark, some squiggly gum, and some other stuff that I don't know what it is, but that's cool. Um, yeah, so hopefully we'll be able to get some big cracks going for you. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. All right, we're just gonna start the engine now, uh, and then we'll go through the safety controls and then start splitting some firewood for you. So come in a little bit closer and have a look. So this lever here just turns your fuel on. This one all the way back is your choke. Uh, and then you've obviously got your on off switch over there. That's as easy as it gets. Rightio, so the controls are nice and easy to use. Um, Obviously I'm holding a beer, so whatever. Uh, so holding forward, cylinder pushes out with the cutting head, you're splitting your, your logs, whatever. And then you can either lock it backwards. Once it hits this safety catch here, it'll stop automatically. All right, so obviously before you operate, make sure that that is in place, hasn't been damaged. You know, whether you've been storing it or um, towing it around the farm or whatever, make sure that that's still there because you definitely don't want it to be dragged, trying to drag back into the hydraulic cylinder. All right, um, as we get a little bit further into it, we'll start cutting some stuff up. You'll notice I'll get Hayden over in a minute to run the controls just to show you it's pretty easy. As you can see, it's you know really easy to do. Uh, <laughs> makes um, makes splitting firewood heaps better, better than swinging an axe or a block splitter. Spend a bit of time with the boys out here. I want to lose ones. Hopefully we'll get a good crack out of this. All right, so this sort of timber, I'm not really sure exactly what it is, but kind of seems to make the best kindling as well. So while we're here, Start running off some smaller bits.
the way that all the um, all the fibres of the timber twist around each other. I mean, I've cut this stuff by hand before, and it's not it's not great fun. This just eats it up. I mean, have a look at that. Righto, so as you can see, it just made life so much easier. This this stuff with all the twisted fibres, well, we call it squiggly gum, whatever it is called. Um, cutting that with by hand with an axe or a block splitter is just ridiculous to me. Um, this just makes light work of it. It's really handy if you've got, you know, got a mate, just one of you's run the handle, one of you's run the splitter. Um, as you can see, does really good kindling as well. Show you how easy it is to flip this up. Just pull this little lever. Right, machine goes to vertical. Roll your big logs onto the bottom and, and use it vertically like that. So it's quite versatile. Uh, and yeah, I can't wait to keep cutting, get through this bloody pile of wood, keep the family warm. So, uh, yeah, hope you liked the video. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, stay safe and get your outside on.